From Olympia Bowling at Helsingborg, Sweden, it is time for the 2024 Storm Lucky Larson Masters Finals. We started with over 300 bowlers from more than 20 countries. We're down to four, all of whom are from Sweden. And it'll unfold here tonight from Europe. The championship match will determine a PBA Tour title to finish out 2024. Great crowd sold out for the last several days here in Helsingborg. Two semifinals for the sixth Lucky Larson, and eventually the championship match. This will be fun bowling to watch here from Sweden. And we can't wait to bring it to you on Lane Talk TV. It's Dave Ryan alongside the Hall of Famer Randy Peterson, joined Lane Level by Great Britain star Verity Crowley as well, and a big star on the PWBA Tour. RP, this is like a Hollywood script. We have four Swedish bowlers, three of whom go for their first career PBA Tour title here tonight. Yeah, man, I mean, how amazing. And first of all, what an honor it, it is for you and I to be here covering one of the best events I've ever covered in my 25 years of television. Uh, you've been doing television for over 30 years, Dave, and, and what an honor and a privilege. But it's an all Swedish finals, and uh, so many storylines that go with that. Three southpaws, one right-hander. Uh, Arguably the best Swedish player in the history of Swedish bowling, and that's Jesper Svensson. Going up against a guy who has been on the PBA Tour for a long time, has never won a PBA Tour title. He's the co-name of this event, and that's Martin Larson. If he were to win today, he would capture his very first and only PBA Tour title. Lots of great action in store on tonight's telecast. So we saw the unique format, Randy. Players bowled multiple of the 26 qualifying squads. EJ Tackett, the PBA Player of the Year favorite, bowled well early. Today, round of 16, round of eight, featured three game total pinfall matches. To bring us to our final four bowlers, three of whom will try for their first ever title. We're gonna have tremendous action here. Might be difficult for the Swedish bowling fans to pick a favorite. A Mark Larson name for this event. James Blumgren, his father actually built this bowling center yeah, crazy. <laughs> in the 1980s. So Just there great are stories. so many storylines here as you see the bracket. Yep. We'll start with Blumgren partner against Theodore Samuelson and then Svensson Larson. All four are members of Team Sweden. All four know each other very well. I mean, Martin Larson, Randy, has mentored Jesper Svensson, who has 11 career PBA Tour titles for many years. And keep in mind, Jesper Spencer, the runner-up at last year's Lucky Larson Masters. He's looking for a little payback. We can't wait to watch this unfold. And Barry Crowley earlier spoke with Martin Larson and Jesper Svensson. The Storm Lucky Last and Masters. This is your event, Martin. How does it feel to be on the TV show? Uh, kind of like unreal. I, I, I couldn't really see myself in this spot, in this tournament. Uh, but here I am. So, um, I mean, it's, it's fantastic. But I'm really surprised about my performance today. Yes, but you just missed out on winning last year. How does the redemption feel coming in this year with another opportunity to win on home soil? Yeah, uh, it's been uh, my goal since last year. That one stung for, for a good bit. So, um, you know, I'm proud that I put myself in a situation where I have a chance for redemption. And, uh, you know, it's just a couple more guys in my way. Martin, you're competing against Jesper in your match. How is your mindset going into it? Well, it's it's kind of weird. It's the guy that I'm uh, bowling with in our team here, both in Team Sweden and Team Pergamon. I practice with them a lot. Uh, so, so we don't have very many of those matches in our history. So I'll, I'll hope uh, that I will be the guy that has 100% win in, the, in this uh, little thing going here. <laughs> and Jesper, how is your mindset going into this? Yeah, like, like Martin said, it will be, uh, it'll be a little weird, but it's fine. You know, it's, uh, just know that one of us two will be bowling for the title is uh, truly special. Um, but. Uh, I know Martin's looking for his first title, but I'm going to do my best to stop him this time. Good luck to both of you. Hey, Verity, thanks so much. Great job, Lane Level, here Great from Verity job. throughout our stream tonight on Lane Talk TV as she makes her reporting debut. That was a fantastic yeah, start. Yeah, she did wonderful. Great job, Verity. And so much emotion, Randy, as you could hear from 
the two bowlers in match number two. They know each other so well and about to go head to head. But first, the opening match, Theodore Samuelson, James Bloomgren. We know one thing for sure, for the first time in this event's history, this is year seven, we will have a Swedish champion. Three southpaws, one right-hander. Martin Larson trying to become a PBA champion for the first time ever in his career. The great right hope. Stats to break down, powered by Lane Talk. Randy, you love these numbers. Thank you to our great folks at Lane Talk. For more information, go to lanetalk.com. Don't forget to download their free app. And here's our numbers. Look at the tournament average. Total averages right on top of one another, qualifying a little bit higher for Theodore. And you can see what they did in the finals. James a little bit stronger when it went to match play. But three of four squads, only two for Theodore. A lot of ways to qualify for the finals portion of this event. But we're down to four. Wow, James bowled so well on the TV pair, 248. Heading into the final round of match play, we had 11 300 games. It's possible we could see perfection here tonight in Sweden. Are you guys ready to rumble? 42 foot pattern. And it's going to yield some high scores here, Ray, which we love to watch. Yeah, I really love this pattern because it affords players of all types of styles to score because you can play the outside part of the lane. You don't have to loft the gutter caps. And, you know, for Martin Larson, that's a huge advantage. He can stay right and use angle, right? And and so for a lot of the players that don't use two hands or have a little less rev rate, they can stay out and play the outside part of the lane. Great numbers and stats there by Lane Talk. Here we go. Bowling Center has been sold out. When was the last time we did a show together? PBA Tour Finals, Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, on CBS Sports Network. That was a while ago. It was a while ago. Won by Anthony Simonson. We saw him here yep. tonight. Knocked out early in this competition. And Bloomgren will get us started here from Helsingborg. One-handed lefty. Going with the urethane up the gut. As I like to call it, playing the extreme outside part of the lane. And... And that's what we saw throughout the entire tournament. A little bit of urethane going down the lane early from the outside part of the lane. That's old school right there, that style. Wouldn't you say, Dave? You've covered enough bowling. Oh, absolutely. Three here, covers nicely. Good start for James. Three, five, six, spare. Always good to get off on the right foot. Nice cover, but here, here, here you go. This is old school, little timing-ish. Uh, timing, beautiful. Gets the ball into the swing. Great balance at the foul line. Uses his thumb. Medium reverie kind of guy. But this, you got to watch this. This two-handed style is one of the most impressive I've ever seen. The youngster from here in Sweden. And look at that reverie. Look at the ball oh speed and power goodness. for Theodore Samuelson who blasts through the one-two pocket with some major steam for a strike. What he does at the bottom of the swing, the way he rotates his hand to the inside part of that bowling ball is quite impressive, and he just shredded the rack and tripped the 8-10 late. Great start. Tito Tolles, big influence with Jason Belmonte, in addition to Jesper. But Belmo was his guy growing up. Was planning on piping it right to the one-two pocket, as we saw a moment ago. Here's his arsenal. IQ 78, your thing. Right at it. Wow. 30. Shrapnel remains in the pit. 30. Those pins, RP, had no chance. No, none. 30. That, that was a full rack attack right there, my friend. Got to get in your early full rack attack. I'm going to save my 60 feet to success for later. You okay you with that? You just spoiled it. <laughs> All right, back to James. His dad in the 1980s built this bowling center. Isn't that Grew crazy? up here. That is, so, that is so crazy. Yet another Hollywood script story to our show here today. Get some help on the seven pin. 
And down it goes for his first strike of the match. Nice, and that's what angle does for you in this sport, Dave. Even if you're a lower rep rate player, if you have angle, you can throw messengers just like that. His dad, Kenneth, came up with the concept, built this center. And there were bleachers all the way to the ceiling. It's been reconfigured, tremendous management. Patrick has been such an incredible host. Patrick is the man. I. Oh, my God, the, the proprietor of the owner here. As we take a look at James's uh, arsenal going with Black Pearl to start, urethane. But Patrick and his staff, absolute incredible job, along with... Martin Larson and, and all the work that they've done to put this on. It's, it's spectacular, Dave. No back-to-back -back jacks here for James. I've been here a few days longer mm -hmm. than you have, mm -hmm. and uh, I've gotten the full-blown hospitality, and i got to tell you, um, the royal treatment for me, it's been, it's been just phenomenal. 3-6-9 here, fairly challenging with that sleeper pin spare to pick up. James' first frame was seven spare. Tries to do it again here in the third. Against the powerful Samuelson. Covers well. Light, light those shots on that left lane for James, and he's going to have to make some kind of move. The last thing you want to do is fall back 20, 30 pins after four frames, but that's exactly what could happen here with uh, Theodore stepping up here in the third and fourth working on a double. They're going for that trophy. Big prize money and a PBA Tour title. This guy can bring it. Perfect oh my, start oh here goodness. for Theodore. Right lane this time. Whoa! Tattoos the pocket again. All 10 of the pit for Samuelson. Yeah, they usually all go down when you hit them there. Played soccer growing up. From a town about three hours north of here. His mom, brother, and fiance is getting married soon or all here in attendance tonight. Some more lane talk stats right there for you. Good, good numbers. Looking oh, for no, help. Oh, no. Now the eight pin stays up. First non strike of the match here for Samuelson. Not a nice break there. Good shot here. Just a hair high, a little heavy. Ball goes right by the A-pin. A-pin number is pretty good. Perfect, stays perfect, make it 10 for 10. So three strikes, nine spare, Samuelson. And he's all over the A-pin, flush. to get to the show. Nine, 10 frame roll off. Fourth frame for James on the right lane. That looks good. Yeah, nice. Right in that one-two pocket. He's got a second strike of the match. So this is the biggie coming up for James here on that left lane, Dave. The four-pin bump in the seven out. Nice hit. Let's see what he does here on this left lane. Back-to-back -back light shot. Seven spare, seven spare. He can cut that deficit to nine with a strike here. See the max scores, 270, 279. Looks for back-to-back -back strikes and a lead. Yeah. No and, help this time. Yeah, and, and so he tried to get that ball to check and come around the corner, and doing so, he goes high, leaving the six pin. So right out of the gate here in match one, James is struggling with that left lane. 
And he told us pre-match it's going to be a struggle against the high rev rate and the ball speed of Samuelson. James does not have a carry. Theodore has. Six pin, no worries there. Single pin, spare conversion. And, and so for James, now the dilemma is, well, I went light, light, heavy on that left lane. What do I do next? Max score numbers have shifted. Tito steps up to his fifth frame, works on a spare. That thing is cooking down lane. Whoa. Again, tattoos the pocket. Nasty. And nothing but shrapnel partner in the pit. Nasty. Woo. Look at the revolutions on that bowling ball going down the lane. Wow. There was just nothing but bad intentions on that shot heading into the one-two pocket. Team rookie. Sweden rookie this yeah. year. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. very excited about that. Told us moments ago, pre-match, interview with him. What it means to represent his country. Left lane. Looking good. Looking really good. Well, this is what power does for you in this sport, in any sport. Watch the pit action here. Five pin, head pin, disintegrates the 10 pin. Night, night, 10 pin. So back to back jacks for Theodore. Five strikes for him in the match. James suddenly down 29. Works on a spare sixth frame. Max score numbers here to see him. Now the look that Theodore has, this becomes a very big shot. James really can't falter. Double wood. How much of it is, is nerves? How much of it is turbulence being created by Theodore? Thirty-six-year-old Bloomgren he told us pre-match he wants this title so badly. Bragging rights for him, Team Sweden. He knows the other three bowlers so well. Three nine double wood has that. The lefty takes care of business, but he needs strikes. And through six, he's down 41, and there's only one thing going through his mind right now, and that's I have to strike out and then hope for some help to have any chance of advancing to the finals. Digital advertising consultant, that's his full-time job, but loves the sport of bowling. He's been around this center literally his whole life. It was built when he was about six months old. <laughs> I mean, that's something else. Left lane. Okay. Much needed for James. Very faint light at the end of the tunnel, but he had to have this. Great hand, great position at the bottom of the swing. Beautiful shot. Theodore goes for the turkey here and a 51 pin lead. Looks for a stranglehold on the match. Gonna get it. Please replace the pins on the right lane. Thank you. <laughs> They're damaged. They're hurt. Wow. Might have a few dents in them. Strike after strike numbers. Powered by Land Talk. Great stats for you. Sixty-six plus percent. Thirteenth of the huge field here in Helsingborg to begin this event. Wow. Yeah, all but over now. Making a four bagger and a huge lead for Theodore. Happening very quickly. Another beauty by Samuelson. 
That's where you just kind of throw your arms up and you go, all right, hey, white flag, I surrender. I mean, uh, this is a pounding. World Cup all event champ last year. James told us pre-match interview. He was very proud of that. Plans to go overseas, bowl in the U.S. USBC Masters, World Series of Bowling. In 20... 25. Go. Good shot, right lane there in his eighth frame. Let's keep it respectable. Obviously, no chump making it this far. This guy can bowl. Make no mistake about it. Do you, do you find it kind of odd or interesting as we take a look at strike percentage? that we have three southpaws and the only right-hander is Martin Larson. The namesake of this event. One of so many storylines here tonight. It's incredible. James, left lane, that was good. All that right. That a boy. Turkey for him to keep in the conversation, but Theodore works on a four-bagger heading into his foundation frame. Yeah, James' max score is only 238, and Theodore is right now in the 240s. This hit here gives him 250, and this is Daddy Lockups with a strike here. For four straight, 51 pin lead, another one. He is locked in. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go. Wow. How about this opening game performance by this young man? And you were impressed watching him compete today in I, the last couple of days. Yeah, I, I really like his action. I like what he does with his hand and the downswing and the way it turns inward. Last frame average. See the numbers. 32nd for Theodore. He's not going to need much in the 10th here. Avoids a split. Six pin off for him in the final moments of match one. Yeah. That ball roll, amazing. Didn't even break a sweat this game. Great fans throughout this event here in Sweden. And that young man right there is moving on to the title match. He is guaranteed to face one of Sweden's finest, either Jesper Svensson or Martin Larsson. And all four we spoke with pre-match along with Verity. Could emphasize enough. How much this title would mean, the national championship. It is a PBA Tour title. This one's over. Samuelson advances with a really impressive semifinal, Randy. Last shot, he probably moved in just a little bit to see what that would do in terms of reaction, getting ready for his title match. Great run for Bloomgren. Yep. He just lost that left lane early. Otherwise, this is a different ball game. If you give him strikes in the first, third, and fifth, he could have won this match. But he did not have that left lane. Light, light, high. And that's the difference in this game. Doesn't take much, does it? Come on, finish big. That a boy. Nice one. That a boy. On Dubai, the IBF World Championships in 2021. We told you about the Euro Cup last year. All around championship, very accomplished bowler. So the Hollywood story ends a couple matches shy. But Blomgren returning to the center he grew up in. Not enough against the red hot Theodore Samuelson here tonight. 254, 238.
Championship match, first time Samuelson's career, Randy.